This is another IBM case study. IBM is really one of the leaders, although we've got Oracle that's really striving to be a competitor in the blockchain market. And there's a lot of independent companies that, uh, that you can contract with that can write a blockchain for you. But in this particular example, what they wanted is they, they wanted to be able to source their produce to prepare and get end-to-end -end data on all of their produce from farm all the way to customer. So in their idea as a blockchain, Golden State Foods is based in California and they service most of the Western seaboard. I've seen their trucks a lot when I was out in the West. The whole idea of Golden State Foods was to have point to point data. So let's say that there's an E. coli outbreak in the produce that was served at a Walmart in Arkansas. Well, the, that situation is, is, is a fairly common one that's very difficult in today's environment to resolve simply because it's hard to trace back to see where that Arkansas store received its particular produce that might be infected or not cleaned well enough or whatever the problem is with that, with that produce. Well, with a blockchain, you have this chain of custody all the way along the way where you could immediately trace back to see where that Arkansas store got the particular produce that may be infected and then eradicate the infection out of the supply chain. Well, when you have it currently, as with the romaine lettuce that we uh, problem that we saw a little while ago, that we knew that the romaine lettuce came from California. So all of California was affected. All of the produce that came from California was basically thrown away and you couldn't get romaine lettuce in the stores in several places uh, for quite a while, you know, a month or two. The challenge with that is, it, is that it would be nice to be able to find the needle in the haystack rather than throwing the, the whole haystack away. The problem is that today's data doesn't provide that clarity that you really need. So Golden State Foods with their blockchain was uh, striving to solve that one particular problem. So they went to IBM, IBM helped them to put, put together a blockchain. And basically the solution was a bunch of technologies put together. They relied on Internet of Things. In other words, they had devices on crates that were tracked with it, probably RFID devices. They also had an analytics, and they call it cognitive analytics. In other words, they're going to be using not just uh, analytics to analyze where the data comes from, but also the uh, predictive analytics to, to project potential problems and head those off before uh, they actually occurred. So they use the IBM Food Trust uh, blockchain. In other words, IBM has several different types of blockchain technology that they've already pre-packaged. And IBM Food Trust is one of those pre-packaged uh, blockchain solutions. So they used that to then track, trace, and monitor the freshness of the product that goes through the supply chain. And, and they say through the supply chain journey, in other words, how quickly can we get it from farm to store? And how can we make sure that it stays fresh? Good refrigerator trucks, the good technology that gets it to the store as fresh as possible. So it lasts on the shelves and the stores don't, don't throw away quite so, so much of it. As well as providing inventory visibility at all times through the shelf life of the item. So, you know, it's really important. It's hard, like for example, bananas. Bananas, I, it's, I'm just amazed that they can actually get bananas from the farm all the way to the store. Cause I know when I bring a banana home, it's good for about three or four days. And then it's uh, a little bit on the ripe side. It might be good for banana bread and stuff after that, but to get a good fresh banana home and eat it, you gotta eat it within two or three days of, of uh, getting it home. So this becomes an incredibly important tool to be able to get it from from farm to market as quickly as possible. So the benefits of having a blockchain like this, incalculable really, Walmart also has their own internal blockchain that they're using that does this same task. And they require all of their vendors from farm to Walmart stores to be in that blockchain and monitor all of their produce all the way from the farm to the store through that blockchain. 
And so you just can't do business with Walmart unless you use their blockchain. I hope that this has benefited. And I hope that uh, you come back next Wednesday when we talk about even more stuff and uh, learn more about blockchain technology. Thanks. We'll talk to you again later.